Disc reviews can help you as a player and a consumer get an idea of what a disc is like before you buy it. So check out this disc review. Today I'm going to review three overstable putters. The EV7 Penrose, the Gateway's Wizard in Super Glow Plastic, and the Yaikun's Gawi in Tiger Plastic. I'm going to throw these putters six times. Once flat, two on different types of hyzers, two on different types of anhyzers, and then I'm going to do some circles edge putting with them also. First up, the Penrose EV7 in OG Soft Plastic. The profile of this one, pretty interesting. It also has a bead, but it's not a big bead, it's a small bead on it. Throwing it flat, it finishes nice and strong. So just start it a little bit to the right of a hole and it should end up nice and strong. Throw it on a little bit of an hyzer, finishes strong again. These are great overstable discs. And then throw it up in the air on a hyzer. Again, nice, strong, overstable finish right at the pin. That's what you want in an overstable putter. Throwing it on a slight anhyzer, it doesn't want to hold that anhyzer. It wants to finish straight. But if you put it high enough on a strong anhyzer angle, this one will finish anhyzer. Great putter for that. I don't like putting with soft putters, so it took a little bit of extra loft to get that putter into the basket. So not, in my opinion, not a great putter in this type of plastic. A really good thrower though. Next up, the Gateway Wizard in Nylon Super Glow Plastic. This is an exclusive TU disc. If you guys go to tudiscgolf.com and use the code RIDER2022, you can pick up these discs and more for 5% off. The Wizard does have a big bead on it, which I like that. I putt with a uh, judge, so this reminded me of a judge. Throwing it flat, started a little bit to the right, and it's gonna finish to the left, which is great. That's what you want in an overstable putter. Put it on a slight hyzer. It's gonna hold that and then finish nice and strong. Great ace run disc right there. Throw it up nice and high, and it's gonna still wanna hold that angle, glide out. Really good for hyzer angles. All right, just like the Penrose, you put it on a little bit of an anhyzer, it's gonna fight out of that and finish straight. If you want it to really go to the right, you gotta put it on aggressive anhyzer angle, and then it even still fights out, so it really is overstable. A uh, really good overstable putter. I did like this one putting a little bit more, definitely more than the EV7. It does have a strong uh, overstable finish to it. Next up is the Yaikun Gawi in the Tiger Plastic. This one has an interesting profile too. It has no bead on it, so this one is beadless. Interesting thing about this disc too is on the underside of the plate, it's divided into quarters. Two of the quarters that are opposite of each other, the disc is smooth, but then on the other two quarters of the disc, it's got a textured feel to it. This one flew very similar to the other two discs. Started a little to the right, and then it's gonna end up finishing to the left. Put it on a slight hyzer, it's gonna hold that finish stronger. This is when I really started noticing a difference between this and the other two putters. Had a little extra glide on it, so it was finishing about 20 to 30 feet longer than the other two putters with the same amount of strength. So I thought that was interesting. It was very consistent too. So on an Anheuser, still got the stability, put it on a slight Anheuser, it straightens out, finishes straight. If you really want this to do an Anheuser, you almost got to put it on a, like a roller type angle uh, to get to finish. And then as a putter, I really dig this as a putter. Uh, I'm not really an overstable putter, but I can see myself going to this disc if I really needed to do like an overstable putt. I can really see this one going into my bag. Make sure to subscribe because I'm gonna have a free giveaway this month. So these are all three great discs. So go check them out. We have them at tudiscgolf.com right now. If you're just looking for an overstable putter and you're interested in all three of these and you can't figure out which one to pick, I'd say go with the one that feels the best. So if you like a big bead, go with the Gateway. If you like a smaller bead, go with the EV7. And then if you like beadless putters, then the Yaikun is probably for you. All right, be on the lookout next week as I review three mid-ranges, and also I'm gonna have a free giveaway sometime this month, so make sure to subscribe. See you then, peace.